Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We should have a good one on tap here today. It's the Bears coming in at 2-2, two and two, going up against the Colts, who come in at 4-0. and oh. With that, we'll send it over to Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. They've got the call in this week five matchup. First open way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, it's been all systems go in this first month. They're off to a 4-0 start. And it's got folks believing that this is a team that's built to go all the way. You can't win the Super Bowl in September, but they're telling everyone that they're going to be there in the end. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in week five on EA Sports. This is fielded at the goal line. So quick on the spin. Uh, he's spinning, man. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive, and they will be led out by their 6'6 quarterback. It's a five-receiver set, three to the left, two to the right. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And this offensive unit should have a lot of juice coming off the big output that they had one week ago. Not my confidence, is there? When you've played well the week before, you can't wait to get back on the field and do it again. Kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. It'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, the Stanford man. It's Andrew Luck. I love everything about Andrew Luck's game, but I also love his worldliness. Some of his formative years were spent growing up outside of the United States. I think that that's helped him when he came back because now he's seen the world. I think that helped him mature a little bit as well. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. This guy carrying the ball, your eyes are going to direct your feet, and you're hoping they carry you to the open spaces. But it's awfully difficult at times because you have so many things you have to look out for. Where's the line blocking? Where's the traffic coming from? Tough to find open spots. And how about this wide receiving core, Charles? Well, I was at the hotel watching a little film, and you popped your head in and said, these receivers are pretty good from what I can tell. You're exactly right. Can't wait to see them do their thing out on the field. And you would have to think an obvious passing situation here on third and nine. Throwing on third down, Luck. And he will find his man on the outside. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Well, we saw the practice film this week. They wanted to focus on these intermediate passing plays, and it paid off there. And they took that focus not just to the practice field, 
but in the film room to show the guys exactly what they wanted, what types of looks they should expect to get, and how they would beat those coverages each and every time, and it paid off on that play. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. The starting 11 defensively for the Bears. Leonard Williams was one of the top draft picks coming out of USC, and he's done nothing to diminish the comparisons people make of past greats. Eight yards to go here on second down. Now it's Locke off the bootleg. He'll find his man on the comeback route, complete. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got the guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, He's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. His throw caught right around the six. Give him 30 yards there. As far as I'm concerned, Andrew Luck can do it all. I mean, he's an underrated runner, toughness in the pocket, strong and stout. But let's face it, the money... That comes from his arm. And smart, valedictorian of his high school class in Houston that he goes to Stanford. He's got it all. Flushed out right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. And he has reached the summit. Move over Peyton Manning. There's a new record holder at the top, partner. And somewhere Peyton Manning is not excited about moving over, but he... After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So they went to the booth to see if that was a touchdown, and they have decided it will not be a touchdown. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Their big tight end, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Colts are going to take a first quarter lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that. Let's see if they can step up. We drop in on a first down in the red zone. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He lost two there, and it's third down. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that's caught. Did he stay in bounds, though? He did not. Ruled incomplete. Uh Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. So third and seven and an extra defensive back on the field here. Definitely want to play coverage here. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. The 12 yard. Now in a pretty difficult situation is this defense up to the task. Ball in the red zone. Second and five. Going to give this time to the tailback. Boy, oh, shifts past him. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. 
but we just saw him run the football really effectively there with three tight ends in the game. And any defensive coordinator, when they see that set, if they can get more. And he takes it in for a Colts score. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. First half. This defense backed up now as they're looking at a first and goal just inside the 10. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And this is incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise hey, with it. Got rid of it. Green, no one got it. Green, Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the six. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. They'll look to throw. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that... Just over 90 seconds to go in the first half. The offense with a football, but they have it in their own territory. They go play action here on first down. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Didn't yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. To throw on second down is locked. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. The Bears have put an extra defender in the secondary on third down. Yep, they're in the nickel. Here's Locke. Under pressure, and they got to him again. The defense, they got a little bit of a breeze. Defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Hey. So a big third down coming up here for the defense, trying to preserve a very slim lead in the third quarter. man on the out route and he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. This offense looking to get off to a hot start in the third quarter opening drive and they've got it first and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top ten units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? 
And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Colts are going to... Trying to preserve. The key coming up here, preserve the lead for this defense. Fourth quarter, close game. Third down, here we go. I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all. On the outside, they're playing press coverage. And on the ground they go with a running back. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Holding offense. So holding by the offense and maybe now got to shift up what you want to do on the playbook. Yeah, definitely. Change what you're doing in the playbook, but boy, the advantage shifts to the guys on defense, doesn't it? Longer yardage situations, they often become bolder. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will actually break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. Back to throw. Love. His throw caught right around the six. A good pick up there, 22. But well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Their big tight end with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Colts have taken the lead here in the fourth. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers. defense in need of a big stop in a tight game in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can get that stop they need. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 40. So the picture becoming pretty clear here. The defense just looking for a stop because a touchdown and they would trail on the scoreboard. They're hoping to preserve this slim one-score lead. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he will find his man on the outside. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And with this guy, I don't know that you're surprised when he has back-to-back -back games like this. He just keeps excelling. What I like about him is that every year, he doesn't settle for being one of the best in the game. He tries to make himself better. Almost like those great basketball players. I remember hearing about Kobe Bryant. 
wanted to add something to his game every offseason. Magic Johnson, what do I need to work on to get better? Michael Jordan had that fadeaway before his career was over. Those are the best. Even though they're at the top of their game, they find ways to get better. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. They'll look to throw here on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. So deja vu all over again. Another good week. And sometimes maybe, because the defense doesn't look that bad, maybe this is just good offense beating good defense in his case. I like that because we always want to point out that there's a breakdown or someone made a mistake or there was an error. Sometimes it's exactly as you described it. Sometimes they just made better plays. And that's what he's been doing for the last two weeks. Someone's got to find a way to cover this guy. Otherwise, he may set some records. And leading here late. So a chance for the defense to really close out this game if they can halt the offense. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here of what could be their final drive. He'll look to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. We'll give him ten yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. They got exactly what they wanted there. Out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them inbounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? Yeah, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. 13 yards there on the pickup. And that leads to a Chicago first down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. He'll look to throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Well, any caused incompletion is good for a defense. But when you add to it, you get a little hit on the quarterback, knock him to the ground, make him think a little bit, hopefully knock him off his game, especially in a game of this magnitude, this tight in the fourth quarter. Got to feel pretty good as a defense. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. They have the lead, still a one-possession game, but the defense got to stop. They've got the football now, just salted away, right? And now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now the Bears going to signal for another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's a defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. So luck down to a knee, and that ought to be the final act of this ball game. A 
lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game, they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for Indianapolis, they improved to 5 and 0 now on the young season, and they will head home next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile for the Bears, they drop below 500 to 2 and 3 with a loss, and they'll look to regroup next week as they head to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York Giants. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.